when you have multiple plugins on screen, because we use our target buttons here, here in Pro Tools 2018, whenever we add a new plugin, things act a little bit different. So none of our plugins here are targeted right now. We all have gray target buttons. So if we come here and we open up a plugin that we already have instantiated, but it's just not on screen, just open this up. You can see it's simply added to our display here. Nothing is replaced. If I click this target icon, we can open up a brand new plugin now. Any plugin at all. We'll just grab something here, say an EQ. And again, it's simply added to the screen. Now you may or may not want this behavior. If you want your plugins to replace one of the plugins that are already on screen, all you need to do is check one of your target icons. Now, once we have multiple plugins on screen, we can only have one plugin targeted at a time, as you can see here. I click one, the target comes off of the other one and goes to the one that we just clicked. So now if I go and open up this EQ, it's going to replace that plugin on screen. Obviously that plugin is still in our list here, it's still gonna process audio, we're just not gonna see it on screen. So now this plugin, in this case an EQ, takes over that position. If I come over here, open up 11MK2, because that was targeted, it's going to open up in that position, all right? So that's another handy tip to know about your plugins and those target buttons. Whenever you have multiple plugins on screen, it can make it much easier to you know, replace the plugin that you wanna replace by opening a new plugin without having to come in and you know, close everything down. So use those target buttons whenever you want multiple plugins on screen and use those target buttons to choose which plugin you want replaced whenever you're opening another plugin.